Hello, good evening, Heidi. How are you doing? Are you ready for today's session? Good evening, teacher. Hey, hello, how are you doing? Are you ready? Fine, teacher. Yes, teacher. Nice, nice to hear that. That's great. You are always ready. <laughs> that is really good. Okay. Yes, um, great. So today it's Wednesday and we are going to start our session today is uh, November 24th and we are going to start with session number 13 okay and okay. this is a part of um, well this is basically our last section and today we are going to start with section number five okay so that tells us that we are going to be finishing uh, let's see, I think it's going to be next Tuesday, right? Because today is uh, Wednesday and then tomorrow. And then we're going to continue on Monday and then on, on Tuesday and then we finish. So we are almost in the last days. So I really thank you for being on time. You are always there, Heidi. So thank you so much. Thank you, teacher. Okay, so um, thank you. Okay. So, so let me start sharing my screen. So we can get started. Yesterday we uh, had a pending topic, right? In which, uh, but I don't know. I, you participated, right? No, teacher. You didn't. No participated. Uh, My partner is Bea. Okay, so maybe Bea is going to Bea is going to uh, come. She's going to join us, and then we can we can uh, you know start participating okay i i can see milton is here and also Gerard is also here so welcome guys thank you so much for connecting thank you so much for being on time okay so today is good evening, good evening. <laughs> welcome how was your day fine hey. uh -huh. busy relaxing, tiring, how was it? Okay, I want to start today's session with um, the presentation that we left pending yesterday. But I think uh, the ones who haven't participated are not yet. Let's see, I think it's only Milton and Heidi and the one that are pending, right? And, but you guys don't have your partner. So maybe we're going to leave this, you know, by later on in the class, okay? Because uh, did you have time? Did you um, finish your dialogues, guys? Because I remember Milton had prepared something, but he said it was individually, but in reality it was not individually, it was, you know, it was in groups. So this is the, the, the conversation we left pending. Milton, were you yes, able yes. to work I, on mm -hmm. I did, I did yesterday my dad uh, because, but uh, my team is, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> your team only, is- Only, only I tell. Only you, <laughs> it, okay. Yes, he, I think is Evie's Evie. Uh, I think Evie, but he, he another person, but I don't remember in this moment. You don't remember. In then, teacher, what happened? I then I, I it's up to you. My girl, I think. Uh, okay. Would you like to do it individually? Would you like to? Do it yourself. Hey, I I don't like it, but the, but the, the my my partner I, I oh, oh without without words. Right, I can see. All right, so in that case, Milton, we're gonna leave it at the end of the class because I still want to listen to your ideas. And Heidi, what do you think? Is your a Bea is here. <laughs> yes, the present. Yeah, she's here. How are you doing, Bea? Hi, good evening. 
Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. We are waiting for you, Bea, because we want to hear your ideas. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to start. Hi, good afternoon, Heidi. Uh, welcome to the class. I I am going to I am going to um write uh, some political obligation. You can uh going you can um make your homework every day. Uh, you you can't use your cell phone in the class in the classroom. If you have any question, please let me know. Yes, Miss. Um, miss, can I use my cell phone? Is my breakfast break? Yes, you can use your cell phone in, in break. Okay. Uh, other question. Uh, I can depress the present the my homework tomorrow. Yeah, it's difficult today. Uh, yes, yes, of course you can. Okay. The uh, the question is, can you teach me all the birds in English? Yes, I I am going to uh, teach the all birds. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. I need a teacher like that. <laughs> Teach me all the verbs <laughs> like this. <laughs> awesome. So thank you so much for sharing. That was a student teacher or teacher student interaction, right? So thank you for that, Bea and Heidi. Good, good, good. That is the purpose, right? That you guys use the structures we have studied about obligation, prohibition, and also uh, obligation, provision, and permission, right? So those are three things. Thank you so much. I can see there are more participants already connected. Now we are a participant plus myself. And I'm giving you some time because I too want to listen to your ideas. So Milton, I don't know if your partners are already here or if you would like to leave it by the end of this session. Okay, I I can. Just... All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Go ahead. Your turn. Okay, my my answers are medal medal. I see the boss and employee. Uh, the boss, uh, the boss is. Can you help me with the work today uh, afternoon? The employee. Yes, yes, I can. I will be in your office at. Uh, 3 p.m. in the the next style, the boss uh, you have will be at the office tomorrow at, at 7 a.m. at 7 a.m. is affirmative. Okay, boss, I will be there on time. The the three example, I uh -huh. I always that allow allow that you drive my car when you out 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 the office because it's dangerous to walk on the street at night. Deploy. Oh, thank you. You are a good boss. All right. So that was a monologue. You did it yourself, right? You created these dialogues per um, each one. Good. So I'm glad you finished all, all alone, okay? And to say uh, allowed, even though it's the allowed, 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 allowed. You're allowed. Here, here. I am allowed. Mm -hmm. Allowed. Exactly, allowed. allowed. Okay. The, the allowed. sound at the end, the sound at the end, yes. Okay. Good, thank you so allowed. much. I can see there are now uh, 10 participants. So welcome, guys. Thank you so much for joining in. Alex is here, Avis is here, Nubia, I think, Boris, Manuel, and Miguel. So thank you so much for joining in, guys. And we are just talking about um, this activity that we left pending yesterday, which is, you know, um, in, which is a short dialogue that is expressing, you know, uh, obligation, prohibition, and permission, which already did discussed, okay? We are going to move on. I don't know if you guys have any question or do you uh, want to participate with any idea that you have 
you know, ready for the class before I move on. Is there anyone? Any question, any participation pending? Mm -hmm. No. no. All right. So, so let's move on. Today is, I was saying at the beginning, guys, look at this. We are going to practice conversation. And this is part of uh, section 5.1 which basically means we are moving to the very last section, to the very last week as well, okay? And we are going to start, and this is what we just did. And I don't know if you guys have already watched the video in which um, the conversation takes place, because I would like to share it and I would like you to help me read it if it's possible, okay? So let me see, let me start sharing it right now, one second. And this is about Unreal Conditional. And we faded the audio. I would like to know if you have any idea about these constructions. Do you know how to use Unreal Conditional? How do we make sentences? Is there anyone who would like to participate? Anybody before I play this conversation? Yeah. Tell me. I'm going to stop sharing the screen. I want to listen to you. Any example that you can think about? Hmm. Okay. I know you already know this. The thing is that maybe you don't know the name of this sentence or of this tense. Okay, I'm going to give you one question. So you guys think about what I'm talking about. So you can kind of relate. What will you do? This is a question that is stated on the video. Okay. Found lots of money. Milton, what would you do? Hey, who is, is, is a good question, teacher, because the money is necessary, but it's necessary. <laughs> ah, it's, it's possible. I start a, a, a new business uh, for uh, I sell uh, our, uh, our business is possible. Okay, so uh, you will start a new business. Yes, yes. So that tell me that you will invest it, right? We invest the money. All right, that's a great you know, answer. And let's see, Gerard, what about in your case? What would you do if you found lots of money? Okay, and if you find a lot of money, first, it's not mine. If I find a lot of money, what's a world the world be do? Put a post on social network to find its hour. But I don't think it was going to the police station because I have not, not confidence. Okay, I like that answer. Really interesting how you, you, you see it, right? So you will, start, you will start looking for the owner, right? Like the by owner, posting. The owner. Oh, yes. okay. The first the, yeah. the, 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 the action is to post in the social media. Exactly. Social media, I can see. Wow, we have two answers like differently. Milton would invest the money and run a business. Jera will post on social network to look for the owner. I want to hear more ideas, but be sincere. I don't want you to be sincere. Because, because it's, it's, no, it's mine. Uh -huh. It's not your money. Okay, see, Alex, what would you do, Alex? Sincere. If, okay, if I found a lot of money, um, only I return the money and to the police. <laughs> no, don't, don't use, I, I will don't use. You won't, you won't use it, okay. So you would return the money to the police. Ah, yeah. interesting. <laughs> Be sincere, come on. <laughs> what about I, I, you, I, Miguel? What would I, you I want, do? I want an experience for the this this temp. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And what about you, Miguel? Uh-huh. I don't like. 
You don't lie. Okay, I I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I I donate. I do some charity. Charity. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes. It's uh, not mine. It's a, a charity. Okay. Imagine it's wow. Let, let, let's be. Let's not be that exaggerated. Let's let's say it is what maybe fifty thousand dollars and then you would just donate it to charity like for four people and foundation but sometimes foundation they steal the money they don't even give it to the poor sometimes they they just take it and then you never know what they do with their money <laughs> but you know yeah. yeah but it's a good point it's yeah. a good point mm -hmm. okay so uh, or maybe only a percentage of this money you donated, like, and then <laughs> you get the other one. All right, so, but I'm glad. I'm glad we had three different points about this question. Well, let me be honest. When we talk about this, is unreal, right? This is not real. We're just imagining something. That is why is uh, this is this thing is considered unreal. I want to hear more participations because I see two hands that are up. Blanky, tell me. First, I'm sorry, I'm late. And mm -hmm. if I found a lot of money, maybe um, buy the, the toys and give the um, a child don't have parents and Christmas, maybe. Mm, interesting. So you I, don't know, go... I, I don't know how do you say a los huérfanos o a los niños de la calle. Orphans. Orphans. Entonces, uh -huh. I, I, I um, buy the, the for toys. Uh, I in tell game. you. <laughs> uh, okay, interesting. Now that it's Christmas, you go to Juguetón and buy all the... <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> all the toys. Okay, I can see. Great, thank you. That's a good, that's a good point. What about you, Blanky? What about you, Manuel? Yeah, uh, if I found a lot of money, I would like to buy a house in Santa Elena because that place <laughs> is gorgeous <laughs> and exclusive. <laughs> also, to invest uh, that money to build my own restaurant, perhaps. Nice, interesting. Santa Elena luxury <laughs> house right there. Get a restaurant for investment and then Good point, you see? Yeah, that would be ideal, right? Thank you for sharing, Manuel. How about you, Blanky? What's your uh, opinion about this? I, the same answer, the, the for toys for the child and the horbans. All right, so because it's Christmas, right? And you don't- Yes. Have, okay, interesting, that's a good point, you know? Uh, now they, you know, many, many children don't have access to these, you know, details. Or yes. And I imagine it's maybe, so maybe, 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 uh, uh, the present, uh, bueno, dáselo por un santa. Uh, uh-huh. Santa Claus. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Good. Good. Good Is point. It? Uh -huh. Go ahead, please. I have my idea is uh, the night to good to buy food for a mission in, in Africa. Then mm -hmm. I report it in my takes uh, in, in donation in uh, impuestos. Um, I had it uh, back in the rent. Mm -hmm. uh, Next year, uh, the, the devolution, the rent is uh -huh. me. Okay. Oh, I see. So the what you're gonna get, like in return, the taxes is going to be your money. I guess no, that money. will be like a wise movement, right? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Good point. I don't know too much about how taxes work. But I think I get your point. Okay, good, good point. What about you, Brice? What's your opinion? 
Hi, um, good evening. Um, if I have a lot of money, I'm going to trip around the world. <laughs> Depends on the quantifier. The quantity. <laughs> <laughs> go to this was enough to to go a trip around the world go to dubai because, yes dubai australia scotia Straight. yeah yeah i can see and second uh, buy a house with a pool <laughs> <laughs> a pool a little a big pool right a big pool <laughs> Uh, a villa with water from the chorro. <laughs> okay, yeah. great. I can see. Thank you so much for sharing. Gerard, did you do or do you want to say anything, Gerard? Yes, uh, uh, tell I, me. I, I have a true story. Times ago, I, 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 I found a wallet on the road with a lot of money. And have them in over with a money I have. And when I deliver into the police station, but the first thing they did was take the money and say, and then say the address for the for the person. Obviously, they deliver the documents without the money. Oh, so so they didn't give the money exactly. to the owner. Oh, you see, that's okay. too bad. The, the, first, the first action is. Uh -huh. Get get out the money and okay. and, and then and say the others ah okay I I I know the person but the money is over disappear <laughs> ah, disappear I can see you see that's why we don't believe in people right I mean you you got this good intention and then all of a sudden you know the good action you did. What happened? I mean, at the end, the money's not returned to the owner. That's too exactly. bad. That's too bad. But I can welcome to El Salvador. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. And let's do something. Let's take a look at this. Uh, we have uh, one conversation here. And let me see. Hopefully, it's going to play. What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. <clears throat> if I found $750,000, Part A. Listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Okay, so I don't know if you could listen to this. Would you listen to the audio? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad. I thought, I thought you hadn't listened to it. Well, uh, this is the conversation. And here we have two points as well, right? Two points of view. One that says that we we'll go to the mall, you know, spend it all, uh, get some nice clothes and jewelry. But the second one says, come on, what about, if, you know, if someone um, well, requests that money and then you might go to jail? So let's let's read this conversation. I need two volunteers, Phil and Pat. Let's see who wants to volunteer to read it I, as well. Me, teacher. Thank you, Jera, and thank you, Nelsie. Me, teacher. Okay. Okay, Pat, Nelsie, Phil, Jera. Um, uh -huh. hey, um, I, I am Phil. But I can see pretty well. Okay. What, do you, okay. what do you okay. see? Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Look at this. Some guy found seven fifty hundred. He returned it, and the owner simply taking him with a phone call. You are kidding? If I found seven fifty hundred, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't return so fast. Why? Why would you do? 
Well, I go I I go straight to the mall and spend it and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about this. And then you call Dr. J. Mm, you got a point there. Interesting. Good pronunciation. I like it. All right. So I returned it. As you can see here, we have an ED. And as you pronounce it, returned it. He returned it. We connect the last sound, which is a D sound, with the next one, which is a vowel sound. So we say he returned it. Turned it. Turned. Returned. Returned it. Returned it. Then I see jewelry, and then everything was perfectly. Oh, this is seven hundred fifty thousand. This comma is is thousand. 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 Good. Okay. Let's pay attention to this conversation, guys. As you can see, we have uh, this structure right here. This is what we're going to be looking at. Okay. Wouldn't returned. We have wouldn't, which is one modal verb. And then we have return, but it's in the base form. So what will you do? I would. And then the verb goes in the base form as it is in this example. All right. And uh, I think I have a, let's see. The, uh, I have a question. Do you mind? Uh, Alex, your question. Maybe uh, other people have. Let me see. Uh -huh. Alex is asking about the certificate. Oh, in this case, it might be because we haven't finished the the course yet. So once we finish the course, once we finish it, Alex, then we're gonna have, you know, the diplomas and certificate. <laughs> the time, I think the next week is, is when the course ends. So after that, I believe we can request it, okay? So let's yes. do something. Uh -huh. uh, the, the, the question is, uh, is, uh, is <laughs> It's because um, the last um, models uh, uh, we don't we don't have the the certificate. Uh, excuse me, Alex. Uh, excuse me, but um, you received an email. They sent us by email. You have to re to check them. There. Oh, okay. I I I I will check. Tomorrow with my, um, you human resources. Yeah, human resources. Yes. 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 Yeah. Or or, may, or maybe Alex, if it is about previous module, maybe you can check your personal email or the email you provided uh, to Insafor because uh, the email you use to register on the platform is the same one I think they usually use. So I suggest checking maybe your oh. spam folder or maybe unwanted. I don't know how it will appear in your end. Check if you have received the certificate. If you haven't received it, and if you think that the, that the company you work for is in charge of handling that, maybe then you can contact your human resource or your boss directly. But then first, before doing uh, that, I suggest checking, as Nelson said, your um, inbox in your email account. If you don't have Alex, it, if they don't I have it, let us know, please. Mails now. Alex, 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 you you have a receive the mail for the link for download the certificate, the model, the past model. Yeah, uh, I I will review my my email, my personal email, my phone now. Great, I'm glad. Yeah, so let's take a look at the next complement of this conversation and let's answer to the question they ask. Let's keep. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. 
Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Do you agree with that comment that honesty pays? What do you, what do you think? Honesty pays? Have you ever experienced anything like this in which you have helped others, in which you have um, maybe returned something and, you know, you don't expect and somebody rewards, you know, something back to you. Have you guys experienced this or not? I, I am not. You haven't, okay. In my case, no, I think I have never found anything like valuable and then um, return it. So I don't know what this is about. Anybody, guys, have you by any chance found maybe not this amount of money, maybe uh, a valuable object and you have returned it and then the owner says, hey, thank you so much for returning this. You know, this is such an important thing for me. You know, here you have this uh, $20. Just to give you an example, no, no experiences like this. Anybody who would like to share any experience? I have, teacher, I have an, uh, an experience uh, the last uh, uh, two years ago in, in, the, in an office, I, I visit, visit in the end, in the reception, uh, we have a, a two person, two people, a, a, a get a, a people, a, a elegant, elegant people before and before before I, and then we a, they are sit down, but when is is when your turn, a, the resident call call her. El call, call them, and then in the in the chair is uh, uh, much money, about uh, mm, I, I don't know. And he, for the moment, I think, hey, I what do you do? It's uh, I have I have the money, um, but. It's, it's honest because uh, the reason I, 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 I told you, I told her, uh, it is the money, uh, maybe it is the two people, uh, they are in the, the meeting, and then uh, the reaction of, uh, reaction it, uh, say me, the, she, uh, she give she give them. So that was at work. Where do you work? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can see. And then yeah. I for me I feel very, very uh, very good, very good for the for the art to uh, I uh, for the moment I think I think about uh, about uh, about about pensa, pensament of, uh, but it's, it's better uh, I will be honest. Right, this bad intentions, right? <laughs> this yeah. bad, this temptation. <laughs> this temptation <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. I imagine. Yes. I, I imagine. Um, so thank you so much for sharing your experience, Milton. And thank you so much for your messages, guys. Thank you so much, I can see that Alex already uh, solved his question. Thank you, Alex, for making sure. Let's see, Gerard says, okay, thank you for helping each other. That's, this is really cool. And Blanky says she didn't receive it. Okay, make sure Blanky, uh, check the dates your classmates are saying. And if you don't find it, let me know. I can contact my direct boss and I know she will handle this. We have done this previously, so this is not a problem, okay? So thank, thank you so you. much. Good, so what would Phil do if he found uh, 750,000? What did the conversation say? He would, 
what did he say in the conversation? Do you remember? What did the conversation say? Who remembers? Would he keep it for himself? Oh, Manuel, please. As far as I recall, he would take in the money to the police because he was so scared and honest. Good. That's the that's the answer. Thing. Yeah, he said he would return it or take it to the police because he's he's scared sometimes himself, right? And and he is really honest. And then the what did the lady say? Who remembers? What did the lady say? Said she suggests buying in the um, some jewelry and dresses. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. So she's she's uh, suggests uh, buying things. Oh, okay. And then. I remember she said, maybe this time the owner will give you a reward, she said, and you're luckier than, than the guy on the conversation, okay? Good, well, thank you so much, guys. We are going to study now the structure because I want to discuss that in the next 25 minutes, okay? So this is the structure. We have uh, another question before we go ahead and talk about this, what will you do? This is really similar. The only difference is that this is a, a wallet. So let me switch, let me change um, question. What about this one? But tell me why. What would you really do if you found an expensive cell phone? Someone who hasn't participated, please talk to us, tell us. And tell me why you would do such action. Hi, teacher. Really yes, go uh, ahead. Uh, honestly, as I found an expensive cell phone, I will try to contact the who is the cell phone because I think that the the person need, need it. And if if does if no is possible to contact him or to contact her, <laughs> but I have to send it to sell it. Sell it, okay. okay. Unlock it, right? Go yes. to go to downtown, you know, and get it unlocked for fifteen dollars. Yes. <laughs> yeah, people do that there. In marketplace. Know? Exactly, exactly. Go to the mercado. I don't know how they call it. You know, get it unlocked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Local, yeah. Yeah. Any other opinion? T-shirt. Uh -huh. T-shirt. In in my case, is a my <laughs> wedding. The call the telephone. I um ask where uh, the, the localized the the dueño. Locate the owner. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Okay, I can see. I have a really honest class. <laughs> okay, yes, yes. nice, interesting. <laughs> Imagine. Well, now iPhones are the most difficult devices to use, right? Yeah. If you, if you uh, what, find an iPhone, you can even be located by GPS and they can track where you are and with the police, you know, iPhones are even like- is, uh -huh. Do you okay. remember you, um, in case the, the, the boys is robar un celular and Drop the-, the phone. Yes, the photo, the photo at the Facebook. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Let me see which book it is. There's there's a text that in the phone there were some some photos, right? And they were able to find the owner by 
by taking a look at their phones. I think I read that article. Mm -hmm. There's an article and I don't remember in which books this is. I think it's in Summit's book, uh, not sure, or Top Notch books. There's an article about this. And yeah, now social media, it's so like, let's say, um, important, <laughs> fast, uh, useful. And I mean, it's like, it has advantages and disadvantages, right? Using social media now because you can yes. easily contact someone if someone's if, if someone or something goes viral you know in like seconds it you know travels around the world right so good thank you so much for those ideas is there any other opinion guys the purpose of this is that you teacher. blanky teacher uh -huh. go ahead uh, the person usually called the cell phone uh, i will wait for a call to, to know who it is Good and point. return it. Good point. Nice. So you would you would wait for a call to to, to know to get to know the owner and return it. That's a good point. Blanky, what's your opinion? Sorry, 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 but I remember the history in my honeymoon. I need to share with us. Uh, us. Uh, and with our honeymoon. With my no. husband, found the rollito de dinero. How do you say rollito or money? <laughs> Maybe a, a rollito is a roll. A roll, well. A roll of money. A, 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 a roll of money. Of money. Of uh -huh. money. And in, in República Dominicana, Dominican Republic. Uh -huh. And I, we don't know anything. And well, uh, we have a, a special dinner with the money. <laughs> because that I, was your honeymoon's <laughs> present. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and um, yes, it's a it's a good dinner for uh, these days. The karma yeah. return. <laughs> <laughs> teacher, teacher. Yes. And you, what what do you do? in this case. <laughs> uh, oh, interesting. Uh, I will get it online. I, I, I take it and beat it. Uh, invest it. <laughs> I, I read the poor bitch. I read, the, what do you call it? I read the poor dad, rich dad. And he said that we have to invest. <laughs> interesting, you know. No, honestly, if you don't know the owner, if you look for the owner, you don't find it. You, there are, there, let's see, some weeks go, go by and then the owner doesn't appear. Maybe then I would take, you know, I would say, well, this is my blessing. <laughs> but if I get to know the owner, I will be very like, um, I don't know, I will feel guilty if I don't return the money. So I will exactly. do it. But then exactly. if I don't know the owner, then I will say, come on, this is a gift for me. <laughs> <laughs> I will spend it. Yeah. But you have to be very careful because some people, they, they really take advantage of the situation. They say, oh, it's my money and it's not their money it's just because they want the money. You know, that's why we have to be very careful uh, when looking for the owner, right? Uh, Alex, what do you want to say? <laughs> okay, if, um, if, uh, uh, if I have a, vibe, a bad voice, <laughs> you know, it's, see your foot, it's a... Uh, if I if I was or if I wear if I wear if, uh -huh. if I were a bad boy um, bad boy uh -huh. bad boy <laughs> okay first um take the cell phone <laughs> uh, uh, I quiet <laughs> don't <laughs> like marker okay. like bad boy bad boy bad boy <laughs> what you gonna do turn okay off, uh -huh. turn off the cell phone, <laughs> turn off the phone. okay uh re retire retire the the chip no remove re remove the, the chip okay. remove, remove the chip uh-huh uh -huh. uh, oh. uh use a new use a new uh, no put a new chip and chip. and review for is this okay the the functionally for me <laughs> and then new, form a, new form toy right uh, interesting you know sometimes you know what's 
let's say something that is really bad is easy to do we tend to do things that are not good they are easy and very um i don't know maybe we are tempted to do this type of actions well thank you so much let's study let's move on let's study the structure let me see this is the structure well this is on the video guys and real conditional sentence with if clauses clauses it's just a sentence if you ask me what a what a clause is i would say a clause is a sentence a clause has a subject has a verb and a complement okay the if clause as you can see here if uh, is the one that set the condition okay for example if i found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars and then we have the second clause which is the result you give the result i would i would go or i'd go straight to the mall so that's the result if if describes basically the condition and also we have the second part which is another clause which describes the result or the consequence okay now what i want to focus on this is the in the following as you can see after if we have the bird is always in the past okay always the past it can be negative it can be affirmative like in this case but always in the past and then second part second clause or, or second sentence use one model for example would could might wouldn't in this case negative and as you can see all the verse that goes after this model go in present i would go i could buy i might go i wouldn't return so the structure is this if you are talking about something that is unreal is just imaginary situation then we use past and then we use one model plus the base form of the verb that is the, that is the structure okay so having said this we can start creating our own examples following this this structure simple past plus model plus uh verb in the base form if i blah 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 i would blah 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 let me explain this uh this to you as well when you give this structure you can also make uh, a change you can uh switch the order of the clauses and the meaning won't change what does it mean i can say if i found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars i will go straight to the mall and i can also say i will go straight to the mall if i found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars it won't change the meaning is exactly the same okay the order doesn't change the meaning okay the only thing that happened is that when you use if in the first clause you need to use a comma in the middle of the sentence okay so i want to hear your own examples think about your own examples and give me your examples maybe open the mic or send it on the chat i will give you two minutes to think about one example whatever comes to your mind following this structure okay i don't know if it is kind of clear or questions or doubts guys Think about one example. Send it to me. Use this, this structure, please. Use other verbs.
All right, I can see we have some example. If I found I could travel to all my favorite countries around the world. <laughs> Interesting, yeah, if I found 750, I could buy a big house in the city. Interesting. Okay, let's change the verb. Let's, let's look for other options. Let's talk about, let's not use found. Think about other verbs, please. This is also possible. The two ones already sent, Nelsie and Nubia, are correct. Correct. I like them. What other ideas do you have? Okay, go ahead, please, Manuel. For example, if I live in Miami, I will go to the parties all the time and have a fun. <laughs> okay, good. Nice. If I lived in Miami, right, I would go to parties. I like it. Okay, and real conditionals and real scenarios. That's the idea. Thank you. That's a good one. Let me see what Jera says. I would not keep the money. I do not, I do not do it because I have a return. I like the example, Jera, but then let's think about one if clause. Okay, that one, you know, makes sense. However, think about how you can include the if because the purpose is to include if because if sets the condition if okay and think about this and give me some other examples guys uh, we have we still have some time look at the formula that's important the formula showing you right now the structure if i found them um, 700 i would pay my bills and buy me a car also travel around the world interesting right pay my bills pay everything not debts and then boom you get you're free financially speaking free of of um responsibilities um if I found 750, I wouldn't use it because the owner is so, so sad. Okay, it might be so sad. Exactly, yeah. All right, okay, give me more examples. This is the structure, the one I'm displaying on the chart right now. If, and then if simple past or past simple. Main clause, would, could, might, and then the verb, okay? This is what I already tried to explain to you any verb any action any intention and as long as it is imaginary situation or unreal we use this structure more examples guys give me more examples we have like five more minutes yes um, um, if i found money i call new house and my, son, and my son say is the uh Cars, buy cars, Tesla. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, Tesla car. Yeah, that's a really good good one. I imagine everybody would love to have a car like that, right? So you will you buy an, a, another house, a new house, okay? Interesting. And the, the fanciest car in the world. <laughs> Let me see. I think I have other examples here. If I have... Oh. Look at this one. We we have um, Anubia. That one had one. It's and well, it's good that you're bringing this up. But if I had found, if I had won the lottery, I could travel. Then had one is the other the other conditional that we haven't studied because you are giving me had one, which is past perfect. Okay, but we're gonna talk about it. Maybe, but that one okay. corresponds to another another category, okay? Because it had one is past perfect. I might buy a new car and buy a big house. Says there, okay. If I I I think Gerard, if I found the money, the first action make is I would make. Say I would make. Would it's important to use one more Albert. Uh, buy a bicycle, okay? okay. I, if I found, I, I might go to visit the old 
country, the old continent. Okay, nice. America. Interesting. <laughs> remember, guys, remember, it's so important to use if main clause. If, past simple, main clause, modal, and verb. So let's stick to that structure because we need to focus on past, simple past, and also we can use uh, modal and base form or whatever. Give me some some example with negative, guys. I wanna I want to read with negative. Negative. What would you say to me? How would you say, si yo no le entendiera al teacher, le pediría que explique de nuevo? How would you say that? Si yo no le entendiera al teacher, le pediría que se explique de nuevo. If, if I don't found, don't have found. ¿Cómo sería ahí? Ajá. If I if I don't understand to the teacher, no. If I if I if I understand, no. If I <laughs> no le entendiera, le pediría que explique de nuevo. Okay. Real. If I don't mm -hmm. understand to the teacher, I I request to you explain to me. <laughs> <laughs> Very close. <laughs> Very close. I But, know. But then uh, think about think about that structure. I, uh, simple. If I don't understand, I will the teacher to explain again. Very close. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I, I if I don't understand the teacher, I may I may. Very <laughs> close. <laughs> Still not there. If I were a if I were a president, I wouldn't establish, establish the establish Bitcoin as money in the, this country. Yeah, depends, Manuel. Depends, you know. Um, if if I if you have money, if you invest and you know how to play with the money, maybe it's a good investment. I don't know. But then, yeah, it sounds many people are against that Bitcoin as currency in El Salvador. So I think that's gonna be your homework. How do you say, si no le entendiera al teacher, le pediría que, hable de, que explique de nuevo? Juan, give me the answer. I don't want to leave this class without, without leaving. If I, did, if I did, if I don't understand the teacher, I will. We need the structure, structure the, the question. Yes, I want you to give me the answer for this. Si no le entendiera al teacher, le pediría que explique de nuevo. If I did. The same, the same I... this. Mm -hmm. What is it? Give it, give it, give me the whole sentence. Simple. Okay. If I, if I don't understand to teacher, I, um, I could, um, I could, uh, explica. Explain. <laughs> I could ask him to explain again. Oh, no. Very close. We, right, I could. Uh -huh. The oración de Alex. Explain the again. <laughs> okay. Uh, if, if I were I, the president, if I if were the I president, I wouldn't if, establish. If I don't understand the teacher, I say, teacher, I don't understand. <laughs> You're very close. Teacher, Think about, aha. Uh -huh. I could as, as request as playing a game. Yeah, that one is okay. But what the, the, the if clause is the one that is not correct. The if clause. Mm. You go more slowly. <laughs> Si no le Ooh. entendiera al teacher, yo le It's pediría que hable. Ah, yo sabía que Emanuel le iba a decir. <laughs> Tenía esa, esa. If I didn't understand the teacher, I would like to ask the teacher to repeat it. Yeah, again. Yeah. 
Sí. Yeah. Yeah. Yo la diría, oh. if I didn't understand the teacher, I would ask him solo, sin like, I would ask. I would ask the teacher to repeat it or to explain again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo le diría, si sí, se la voy a mandar y cuando terminamos. Pero la de Alex es la de, la de Manuel. If I didn't understand the teacher, let me see the teacher. If comma. I didn't understand the teacher, comma, I would ask him to explain teacher, again. Pero, sure. Teacher, pero but not, but our center is wrong. Uh -huh, the, the correct one is the, the closest one is the one uh, a Manuel sent because the simple pass is what we need to use. Porque, mire, si yo digo, if I don't understand, estoy diciendo si no le entiendo. Pero lo que estoy diciendo es que si no le entendiera. That's didn't. That's simple pass. Okay. That's why didn't is necessary here. If I didn't understand the teacher, I would ask him to explain again. That would be similar and closest to the one Manuel sent, okay? Remember, tomorrow we're gonna practice about simple past and also we're gonna practice about how to keep constructing these sentences, okay? So remember this, maybe you want to double check your notes and we talk about this tomorrow, okay? Thank you, sir. All right. So thank, thank you, sir. Thank you so much, then, for your thank participation. You. I like to have a wonderful rest of the day and see you tomorrow, guys. Bye bye. See you thank tomorrow. You. Bye bye. 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 bye.